Hello everyone and welcome to another video where we go over the patch notes of season 12, Defiance. Starting off with a little bit of a supply of rotation as the alternator SMG makes its way back to ground loot without its disruptor hopper. In its place is the Volt SMG, which like any other supply of rotation weapon increases a little buff with increased magazine capacity and some extra damage. And now that we're on the topic of hop-ups, there is gonna be a new kinetic feeder for the triple take and the peacekeeper, where sliding with the triple take or peacekeeper significantly speeds up the choke time and automatically reloads rounds. Say adieu to empty peacekeepers. And to add insult to injury, the hammer point rounds will be returning for the P2020, the Mozambique and most notably the RE45. P2020 will have a 50% unshielded damage increase, the Mozambique will have 35 and the same for the RE45, also with a 35% unshielded damage. What do you guys think about this? The RE45 with hammer points rounds? <laughs> oh boy. Also shatter caps, we're having a little bit of a rework as it passively affects hip fire for both weapons. The ADS remains precision shots and is no longer able to toggle on or off. The 30-30 pallet damage will be reduced from 8 to 7 and the bow will be reduced from 12 to 11. A wildlife update. Prowler's damage have been reduced from 30 to 20. Increase the Prowler's Nest Completion Rewards from 90 to 100 and... What, what? Nobody fucking gives a fuck about Prowler's? Oh, you're a bad... What? Are you a bad player if you can't handle... Okay. Well guys, up next! Some nerfs for the triple take, as the triple take will no longer have a projectile increase from the boots, and the damage will be reduced from 23 to 21 per shot. Say goodbye to 69 shots on the body. <laughs> Not very nice. Also, the flatline will also be reducing a small nerf from 19 to 18 damage per bullet. And we can all agree that the flatline was in a quite unhealthy state, which is why I think devs have done the following. No, God! No, God, please, no! 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 No, but actually, yes. Give your meat a good old rub. That's it. Nice and hot. Hot and spicy meat. <laughs> yeah, boy. Holy shit! Yeah, I think we're all gonna be better off. Speaking of things we won't be better off with is the ranked update, as the max kill RP has been reduced from 175 to 125, netting you around 5kp needed to get maximum RP. Is this Apex's attempt to make the ranked more casual friendly? Okay. And what do the seasoned veterans think of this? In my opinion, the way to gain RP and the way to improve in the game Better. are not the same. Yep. And another change uh, to even nerf yeah. defensive characters even further, Nox cast traps will now have a limited HP. That's an the traps will expire at 11 seconds and the gas effect will linger for 2 more seconds after the barrel has been destructed. Crypto on the other hand will be getting a little bit of a rework as he no longer has to pilot his drone to gain information. In my opinion, this is a huge buff for Crypto as his narrow link detection runs from 160 to 230 so that Crypto can finally step up in the game that is Recon Legends, I mean Apex Legends. And to end the video, you can now see what your teammates are carrying in their special equipment slot. World's Edge changed fragment from high tier to mid tier. Storm point fixed case where people were unable to shoot through the chain link fences at Athena. Practical color customization limits noise to 0 to 25 to avoid exploits and a fix for cases where people were able to use melee on inclined services to gain an unfair speed advantage. My name is Marek and thank you for watching and see you later. Also live on Twitch by the way. <laughs>